I'm going thrifting. <laughs> Instagram trendy clothing Completely thrifted Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Cora. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another thrift flip. I've done two thrift flips in the past and you guys seem to really like them and I really like doing them. So I thought, why not do another one? The first thrift flip that I did, I went to the thrift store and I bought items and then I made them into dupes for Urban Outfitters clothing. The second thrift flip that I did, it was me taking my mom's old clothing and then upcycling it into something that I would wear today. So for today's video, I thought that I would go to the thrift store, find a few items and then make two outfits completely thrifted. Accessories, shirt, top, jacket. It, whatever. The pieces that I ended up making were things that I saw off Pinterest or off Instagram, making Instagram trendy clothing that I've seen people wear or that I've seen on Urban Outfitters or Brandy Melville, if that makes any sense. So let's just get into it. So the first item that I found was this plain white t-shirt. The reason that I got this plain white t-shirt is because I wanted to copy this t-shirt that I see all over Pinterest, all over Instagram, that is from Urban Outfitters. On the one from Urban Outfitters, it is just screen printed on the t-shirt, but I thought it'd be cuter if I took three butterfly patches and then put them onto the t-shirt. By the way, Urban Outfitters sells this item for $30 and there is no way that I was going to pay that price to get this shirt. So I found this plain white t-shirt from the thrift store that actually was $2.99 and then I found these three monarch butterfly patches from Joanne Fabrics that were $2.08 each. These patches are iron-on patches so all you have to do is iron them right on the t-shirt. So what I did is I put them on the ironing board and I took the butterfly patches and I measured out where I wanted them to lie on the t-shirt just to make it even. I used a ruler to measure it to make it as professional as I could be because we all know I'm usually not that professional. So I placed the butterflies a half of an inch apart each. And then I just took the iron and I ironed them one at a time for 15 seconds each. And then I flipped the t-shirt inside out. And then I ironed them for 20 seconds each on the back. And then I repeated that last process where I just ironed them for 20 seconds each when the t-shirt was inside out. Just to make sure they were secure and they weren't going to fall off the t-shirt. So that is the first piece of outfit number one all completed. It came out to $9.23 for all three of the patches and for the t-shirt. So the second part of this outfit is a plaid skirt. So I always see these plaid skirts on Instagram that I really like and they're actually from Brandy Melville and they're called the Kara skirt or the Kara skirt. I don't know how to say it, but they are kind of expensive. I made one of these in my last thrift club. It was more of a wrap skirt and I wanted just a basic one like they had on Brandy Melville. So Brandy Melville sells this item for $26. The skirt that I found at the thrift store was only $4 and I think it looks pretty similar to the one on Brandy Melville. So the skirt actually fit me perfectly. I liked the way it looked, but like I said, I wanted to copy the Brandy Melville ones because I really really like the way those ones look. And they have two slits on the side of each leg. So I knew I wanted to make the little slits in them just to match the skirt as it was on Brandy Melville. So what I did was I tried the skirt on and I measured out where I wanted the two slits to be. And I took a Sharpie marker and marked it on each side. And I took the skirt off and I drew a little triangle of what I wanted to cut out from each side of the skirt. And then I just cut out that triangle, make the two slits on the side. And once I cut it out, I just hemmed the edges of the cut so they wouldn't fray with this fabric stitch glue. And that is the second piece of the outfit all complete. Darling you. And then the last part of this outfit is I wanted to make a hair scarf. I've seen these on Pinterest so much lately and I just really like the way they look, especially for the summer. So I found this skirt at the thrift store that was only $4.99 and I really liked the fabric of it. It was like kind of like a silky material, but obviously I didn't actually like the way the skirt looked. So I just wanted to use this fabric to make the scarf. So what I did is I just took the skirt and I cut out a square from it. And then I just took the same fabric stitch glue that I used for the plaid mini skirt that I made and I hemmed the edges just so they wouldn't fray. The hair scarf didn't turn out completely even. It's not a perfect square, but once you wrap it up and put it in your hair, it looks all the same. So I don't really think it matters that much. So that is outfit one all complete. I made the butterfly t-shirt, the plaid mini skirt, and the hair scarf. And I really like the way it turned out. Okay, on to the second outfit. So the second outfit that I made was based off another t-shirt that I saw on Urban Outfitters website. It was this long sleeve t-shirt, but I wanted to make these outfits for the summer since summertime is 
coming up. So I knew I didn't want to make a long sleeve t-shirt. So what I wanted to do was kind of combine these two t-shirts that were really similar, but one was a long sleeve and one was a tank top. Take the print off of the long sleeve, but put it on the tank top because I liked that print better. So what these t-shirts are called, I'm pretty sure it's like Cherub Angel t-shirts. I don't really know, but I really like the way they look. I've seen them all over Instagram popping off. So I knew I wanted to make one. So again, this tank top from Urban Outfitters sells for $30. Literally ridiculous for just a screen printed tank top or long sleeve not paying that price for sure what i did is i thrifted a plain white tank top I actually thrifted this tank top for $1.99 so inexpensive to get the print on the t-shirt all i did was i looked up the image on google and then i put it into a word document and it flipped it 180 degrees because when you iron it on with transfer paper it's gonna flip over so you want to rotate the image 180 degrees and so i just printed it onto transfer paper that i got at hobby lobby very inexpensive and i already had them left over from another thrift flip that i did so once i printed that out i just cut out the image and this was kind of tricky to do because there was a lot of edges but I wanted to make it as perfect as I could obviously it didn't look perfect but that's fine once I cut out the image I just put the tank top on the ironing board and then I ironed on the image of the angel using the transfer paper that I cut out and then I just let that cool for about two minutes and then it was all done so that's the first part of outfit number two all complete the other parts of the outfit are actually completely just thrifted. So for the bottom of outfit number two, instead of thrifting a whole new pair of Levi's shorts, I just took the same ones that I made from my last thrift club from my mom's closet and paired it with a tank top. And then I found this vintage belt from the thrift store actually. It was only 99 cents, literally only 99 cents. It's kind of like that Western style belt that's been really popular. And then I also used this jacket that I got at the thrift store that was a very bright orange color. That was really pretty for the summer or the fall. Honestly, any season except for probably winter because the orange kind of matched with the angel on the shirt. So that is outfit number two, all complete. I think it turned out really cute and it was so easy to make. I only ended up flipping the tank top and then I just paired it with other thrifted items. This is probably the easiest thrift flip that I've done. It's really simple. I just wanted something quick that you guys could do for the summertime. So that is it and that concludes this video. I know this one was kind of shorter and easier than my last thrift flips, but I just want to do a quick and easy one that you guys can make. No sewing involved, nothing like that. Because I know and when I see thrift flips where they're like sewing an entire outfit, I'm like, well, I can't do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments if you want me to keep continuing this mini series, I guess, by making more thrift flips because I have a lot more ideas. I was also thinking about picking all the items that I thrift flip and selling them on my Instagram or on a separate Instagram account that you guys could buy for like a really inexpensive price. So let me know if you guys want me to make stuff and then sell it because I would totally be down for doing that. That is it for this video. Hope to see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey guys, oh, they think about you. Oh, they think about you. Prepare to leave my